of level in regard to the obligation of the servants when Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala command him with a command the wajib al-abd idha amarahu Allah bi amrin the obligation of the servant when Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala command him with a command tonight bi idhnillah we're going to start from the martabatul rabi'ah the martabatul rabi'ah which is the fourth layer or the fourth No, not really. The fourth point in regard to those seven, or the, se- the fourth level, from the among the seven levels of that which is incumbent upon the servant when Allah Tabaraka wa Taala commands him with the command. So tonight, we are discussing about the fourth level. The fourth level. Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, Rahimanallah wa iya, at Tamimi ibn Sulaiman ibn Ali, Rahimahullah rahmatan wasi'a, he say, Wal martabatul rabi'ah, in the fourth martaba, the fourth level, is al amal, is the action itself. Meaning, when Allah Ta'ala commands us of any command, the first obligation is to have knowledge of that command. The second obligation of that command is to love that command. The third obligation of that command is to have the determination, is to have the eagerness, is to have the strong determination to perform that action. So anytime that Allah commands us with a command, these seven matters are to be present. So, yep, this is what the book about. The first level is that one must have knowledge of the command of Allah. Because if one doesn't have knowledge of it, there is no way he can fulfill the command of Allah. Number two is that he has to love what Allah has commanded. Because hating what Allah commands, even if you're doing it, that's disbelief. So yep, you must love what Allah commands you. Number three is that you must have the readiness in you. You have to have the determination, the zeal to be doing the action itself. So now we are heading to number four, which is the action itself. He say, وَكَثِيرٌ مِّنَ النَّاسِ And many from the people, إِذَا عَزَمَ If they have the determination, أو عمل أو they do the action وتبين عليه and it is made clear to them it is made clear to them من يعظمه من يعظمه those who they venerate those who they look up to them those who they value their statement or their position if it is clear to them Min shuyukhin from the shuyukh from the sheikhs, or غيرهم or other than them, meaning from the people that they venerate, that they look up to, taraka al amal. If it is other than what those individuals are up, 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 up to up on, right from those actions, they will abandon it. So if they have the determination to do the action, or they do in the action. Now it comes to them that so and so that they hold a high esteem of, he is saying otherwise. He is in the contrary of this command. Taraka al amal. They will abandon the amal. They will abandon the amal. For instance, give a short example to understand this point. For instance, a person he is, yani a tijani. For instance, he knows that the lihya is wajib. He studied it. He learned it. But and he has the determination to start growing his lihya. But the sheikh that he has, the Sufi sheikh that he has, right, is it is clear to him that the sheikh is taking the other opinion that it is not to be having the bid. Now this individual will completely abandon that action that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded him to do. Why? Because he is looking up 
to this individual that he has a ho uh, he oh, he is, has a strong esteem. He is really, you know, he's somebody that is big in his eyes. He's venerating him. So, yep, this is the point that we study in Alhamdulillah. Say Muhammad Raslan, he say, he say, Amma al rabi as this fourth pillar that we or this fourth point that we talk we're discussing. He say, فَقَدْ قَالَ الشَّيْهِ رَحِيمَهُ اللَّهِ He has indeed said about this point is al-amal, the action, which is the action. He say, and many from the people, when they have this strong determination and the readiness and the eagerness and the drive to, to perform the action, and it is clear to them of the other position that those who they hold a, a, a strong esteem, those who that they venerate, and this barakallah fikum, barakallah fikum could be not only for those who are uh, ahl al bid'ah, but also those who they claim salafiyyah. It could be also this. Because you are looking at a person to the poor point that for you he is infallible. For you, whatever the men say, that's the truth. You understand? Now, it, it, it is... Whether he is your teacher or whether he is the imam of the masjid, whether he is the instructor, whether he is the reader, he is the one that read, or even that from him you learn alif bata. Now the deen is more important than any individual, barakallah fikum. And we are not to be following nobody in their mistakes. That's, 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 that's what is we all have to understand. We, nobody is to be following in their, in, in their mistakes. Alhamdulillah, for the people of Sunnah, what the Kibar ulama say is very important. It is not me, Talha, to say so and so is okay, so and so is not. Who am I? I should be the one, I should be asked about whether I'm okay or not. Not for me to say, oh, Abu Maryam, he's okay. Who, is this my status? Is this my status? Me. Huh? It is not. Who am I to say he's, you know, to, 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 to say that he is okay? Who am I? But rather the question, and subhanallah, Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymi rahimahullah, they ask him about Shaykh Rabia. What do you say about Shaykh Rabia? He say, you guys get the question upside down. You, get the, you are asking the wrong question. You should have go to Rabia and ask him, what do you say about Uthaymi? And now we all know that Barakallah fi um Shah Rabi he will humble himself in front of who? In Shah Fran Shah Sal al Uthaymin. Because Shah Uthaymin taught his teachers. But rather Barakallah fi he ask, he say you should because he know that the man Alhamdulillah has what some khususiyah in him. So therefore it is important, Alhamdulillah. We we don't we don't we are not driven by personalities. And this is very important that all of us will say, Alhamdulillah, if, if I make a mistake in that which is from the Aqidah or from the Manhaj, let nobody, or if what I say is in opposition of what the Kibar Ulama say, Akhi, let nobody, let nobody be sitting in front of me. And that got to be very clear, Barakallah Fikum. If I say anything that is in opposition with what Shaykh Rabbi say, listen, be a man enough to stand up and say, listen, we don't want to hear what you got to say. Straight up. Straight up. This is the reality, Barakallah. And this is Salafiya. We're not cultivating people to our personalities. We're not attaching people to our personalities. Alhamdulillah, our attachment is to Allah, to His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And those who, Alhamdulillah, they are giving us the nurturing, they give us a tarbiyah towards, towards that. So he say, فَيَأْتِي بِالْعَمَلِ The person he brings about the action. He say, أَلَّذِي قَدْ عَلِمَ أَمْرَ اللَّهِ فِيهِ He will bring forth the act of worship or the command of Allah that he prior, prior to him bringing the act of worship, he has indeed learned about the command of Allah, that command of Allah in that action. Before he brings it, he learn it. And that's why we say what? Babu, as Imam uh, Ibn Muhammad Ibn, Ibn Abdul Waha mentioned what? Babu, ilmi, qabla al qawli wal amal. So, Bukhari, naam. Uh, Imam Bukhari mentioned, Jazakallah khairan. As Imam Ibn Muhammad Ibn Rab brought it in Usul al The statement of Imam Bukhari, Babu, ilmi, qabla al qawli wal amal. The chapter of having knowledge before speech, speech and action. So he mentioned, 
that pro- that now the person he brings about the action, قد, uh, قد that he prior prior bring into the action, he learned the command of Allah in it. وأحبه, and he loved that action. Before bringing forth the action, he loves it. He say, عَلَيْهِ And he has a strong determination to bring about that action. Yatibihi, he now have the action, he now perform the action. One is not to just jump out and do an action, but rather one has to learn it. One has to have love for it. One has to have the determination towards it. The determination is very important also because it will make you not to be looking who is saying who and who is doing who. But rather this is wajib, this is an obligation. Alhamdulillah, you establish it. So he mentioned Hafidh wa lakinnahu ba'da an ya'ti bihi but now the person after that he brought forth the action yataghayyaru alayhi it will now start changing upon him in regard to the love or because of the love that he has for his shuyukhihi the love that he has for his sheikhs meaning for his leaders or elders and the likes of this now he is having a turn out in regard to the action that he has. Why? Because of the love that he has for his sheikh. Right? He say, وَبَعْدُ الْكُبَرَاءِ Meaning from those who مِمَّنْ يُعَظِّمُهُمْ And because of some of his leaders or elders that he is venerating or they are venerating. Meaning they are looking at looking up to them. They are, you know, they are, they have a strong uh, esteem for them. They, 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 they looking at, they looking up to them. In, in a way that whatever they don't do for them, they think that it is not proper. Whatever they do, they would think that this is the religion. So now, fahina idin on that situation, yaturku al amal he abandoned the action. Now he was doing the action and later on he realized that well this individual is not saying it or he's not doing it, he'll abandon the action. Now this is this is also issue because of how much he's venerating this individual or that individual. Shaykh Muhammad Rasul Hafidullah he went to say he said Al Ilmu Bima Ja Abihi al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallama He say Min Ghairi Amalin Bihi لا يؤدي إلا إيش إلى النجاة من غير عمل به لا يؤدي إلى النجاة. He said that the action or the knowledge that the messenger in Salatu Salam came with, without implementing, without implementation of it, will not lead to success and to safety. It will not. It will meaning it's not going to be beneficial at all. You have the knowledge. What's, what, what about the implementation? So it will not lead to the it will not lead the individual to that which is the salvation or the rectification or that which is the safety. He say, "Bal huwa," but rather it is hujjatun ala sahibihi. Bal huwa jahlun. He say, but rather that knowledge will be against him. It will be against him. It will be against him. He say, and even to be said that this individual he is ignorant. Having knowledge that you are implementing, it is ignorance. So, yep. Yani, Shah Raslan, he say, meaning, Alladhi ya'lamu amr Allah, the one that knows the commands of Allah, he knows it. Wala ya'malu bihi, and he does not perform it, he does not implement it, he does not act upon it. Hada jahilun, this individual is an ignoramus, he is ignorant. He says, Jahilun Jahlul Amal. But he is an ignorant person, right? Ignorant of the action. Not ignorant in the sense of the knowledge of the of the of the command. But ignorant in the sense of the of the action. So, yep. Ignorant. He haven't he haven't established it. He hasn't done it. That's why from the Thamaratul Ilm, from the fruits of knowledge is what? Al Amal is actions. So knowledge, knowledge without action is what? It's a tree without no fruits. Knowledge without implementation. It is a tree. 
It is a tree without no fruits, no shade, no benefit whatsoever. So here is the tree right there. It's no shades, it's no fruits, it's no benefit to it.